Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be selling a summer dress. Recently, I went to the thrift store and I picked up a full-size bed sheet with this beautiful blue gingham fabric. And also, a while ago, I actually filmed what I found at the thrift store when I found this pattern for a dress. So I drew a couple of sketches and I'm not going to keep the dress style the same as it is in the pattern but I still will be using the front part of it. And then for the dress, I'm planning on just using the pillowcases as there is quite a bit of fabric here and I think I'm going to save the rest of it for another project. I'm excited so let's get started. So this is the pattern piece for the back of the dress and they have marked the waistline so I just drew a straight line across and when cutting out the pattern piece I'm only going to cut up from the waistline and up and then I'll add a seam allowance too. Then the front of the dress is a bit too low cut at the neckline for my preference so I'm going to be adding an inch on to the front of it. Then also on the front facing, I made sure to do the same by adding an inch onto it. So here I have the top part of the pieces cut out. I have the front facing, the back facing, the front bodice, the back bodice, and then the straps. And for the tiered skirt of the dress, I'm going to be making two long strips. One that measures 50 inches by half the length from my waist to my knees. Then the second one is going to measure 65 inches. is also going to be half the length from my waist to my knees, which that length for me is about 11.5 inches. Then all these measurements might need to be adjusted depending on your size. Then I also decide to cut out pockets using some of the leftover fabric. And I almost forgot that I'm going to be using a zipper too. To start off, I take the strap pieces and fold them in half. Then sew along the top edge of the strap. I then took my bodice pieces and pinned the darts in place, then sewed them in place. Then I pinned my line pieces together and sewed them in place. For the facing, I'm going to first use my pinking shears to cut along the bottom edge and then I'm going to sew a line of straight stitching across just to keep it from becoming frayed at the edges. But if you own the overlocker, you can overlock yours as well and that would work fine. Then I pinned the back bodice piece to the front bodice piece and sewed them together. Now that I sew together my side seams, I'm going to take the facing and pin it on right sides together and sew along the top edge. Then I'm also going to take my straps and put them in where the straps belong and pin them in place. That way when I sew, I'm also sewing the straps in. 
Now that I have the strap sewn, I'm going to take a knitting needle. I'm going to inside out the straps. You can do this with another tool if you have one, just a needle is the only thing I have handy. Then I took my skirt piece and measured three inches down, then placed the pocket there and pinned it in place. Do this for each side of the skirt. Then I took one of the skirt pieces that had the pockets and cut it directly in half down the center. Then I pinned the skirt pieces right sides together and sewed along the edge making sure to sew in the pockets. Along the top edge of the skirt piece, I sewed a gathering stitch. Then I gathered the skirt piece and pinned it to the bodice, then sewed it in place. Then I sewed in a zipper. Then I took the longer skirt pieces and sewed them together, making a loop of fabric. Then sewed a gathering stitch along the top edge of this loop. Then I pinned and stitched and gathered the bottom skirt piece and pinned it to the top skirt piece and sewed it together. Afterwards, I made sure to remove all the gathering stitches. Then all that was left was to hem the bottom of the skirt. Overall, I'm very happy with the way this dress turned out. I'm happy with how this dress is so easy to layer and I can wear a t-shirt under it for the colder months and even the cardigan when it gets really cold. To see more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.